Welcome back to CWS Christian Writing and Speech. I'm your host, Jackie Wilson, and we have had the privilege of talking with Gary Selman. He is the author of Arise, Shine, and Be Encouraged, Living in Days of Light and Glory, an avid blogger, co-founder of the First Call Advisor Group, and Pray Now, Pray Boldly. We've been talking about his journey of writing as well as this book of Rise and Shine and the challenge that he has issued to people to stand up, be what God has called you to be. In this last and final episode with him, we are going to start talking about how you can do it in your workplace. How is it that you can rise and shine for a long time? He was an executive coach helping people fulfill and find their passion first and then fulfill their passion. So here we are. Can you go into telling people or giving some tips about how they can be these bold people that you have challenged them to be? Sure. Um, If we study God's character and his nature, God is very purposeful Mm. and intentional. Yes, intentional. Intentional. And so I, I challenge people to, you know, don't just get complacent and go with the flow just because the flow is going. No, stand there in the midst of the stream and, you know, uh, make the stream go around you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you <know? laughs> um, so, you know, it, um, but so you have to be intentional. You have to say, you know, enough is enough. I won't be silent anymore. You have to, it helps. Well, not helps. You absolutely have to know who you are. Mm. If you're real clear that you're a son and daughter of the Most High God, created to walk in His image, His power, His authority, and to rule the earth, angels bow to us. You know, if you know who you are, then it really helps you have the resolve that I'm not going to be timid. I'm not going to be shy. In fact, I'm going to expect people to dog me out, to, to trash me, to talk about me. They did it to Jesus. He said, they're going to do it to you. So mm-hmm. it's okay. Be encouraged. I'm, I'm not going to leave you. Uh, and so, but if you make the resolve that you're going to make a difference and, and you just start small, a little bit of things that the person who says, you know, I'm going to start being Christ exam- ambassador, which means I'm going to be one of the most dependable people in the office. Yeah. I'm not going to get there on time. I'm going to get there a few minutes early. Yeah. Um, I'm, you know, I'm going to, I'm set excellence as my goal. I'm going to, I'm going, I'm not going to condemn other people. I'm going to walk in love with everybody that I meet. And and so that may mean that you have to control your gates of access and to have peace in your life. You don't watch the the news. Karen and I have boycotted the the news (laughs) now for several years. We just don't watch it. Um, and, and, and I periodically do a review of my heart and my mind, uh, with the shows that I record and watch on TV. And it's pretty quick that the Holy Spirit say, well, what are you doing watching this? You know, this is not good for you. This is not where I want you to be. And so I'm constantly engaging and renewing my mind. But, uh, you know, the Holy Spirit, if you invite him, to, to be your counselor, your comforter, your helper. I need him all the time. But if you'll start your day saying, lead me and guide me, give me eyes, spiritual eyes to see, spiritual ears to hear, you'll have, he'll be whispering in your ear things that you can do throughout the day. And you can imitate and be like Jesus all day long. And so people are wanting people to be authentic. Yeah. To be real. Yeah. To be loving. Yes. To be kind. 
Absolutely. You're absolutely right. I think people make it difficult not realizing it starts with the smallest steps. You can look at the yeah. areas in your life where you're struggling. And if you are a person that is always running late, just be more committed to getting there on early instead. Eliminate those distractions that may be keeping you in that position of being late. I think a lot of people yeah. feel like you have to talk things to death before you can take action. But as you yeah. mentioned before, such time as this, it's, it's time to take action. If we're always sitting around talking about what the problems are, and God may be trying to get you to see that I want to use you to resolve the issue, but you won't listen <laughs> to allow me to do that. But it's very, very simple. I tell people all the time, it's not, God works not on, it's not just spiritual. He's using you physically. People see you physically. He's using you as an exactly. example if you will allow him to. You can't just say, I'm a Christian and I read my Bible. What are you doing? It's about the action. Like love is not just saying, I love you. Love is the actions that you show to people. And it's, it, it's the same way with everything else. You can't say, I'm this, but you're not showing that. And God is a God of action and we are to model him. So I love the challenge that you have issued to people. I love the fact that people can start small, that we don't have to make it overcomplicated. Start with something that you know you need to change in your life. Be the change agent. And as you change, people will pay attention to that and they will make a decision whether or not, hmm, I think I can do something like that too to be a better person you don't know who you may influence and of course i work with children so i say all the time children are watching you watch what you do oh yeah <laughs> yeah they now, watch what you do more than they listen to what you say sometimes. absolutely that that old adage said do do what i said and not what i've done no that doesn't work people watch what you do and it's important that you are choosing to things do things that are empowering and empowering in God. Now you got to tell people how they can connect with you, stay in contact with you, see more about your books. Well, um, they can go to I Disciple. I, I love. I'm just praise God every day that they picked up my work and I'm on that site. So. All 365 of my devotionals are there on iDisciple. Mm -hmm. uh, if you go in and it, it, it helps if you get a, a membership, you get additional little privileges. But uh, my uh, devotionals are there. My blogs are there doing business God's way. So they have a pretty rich uh, body of my work. I'm learning on a daily basis how much I don't know about the, today's world of publishing, everything's, it's not this anymore. It's not, I mean, some people, I'm old fashioned. I love a, a paper book that I can turn the corners down and highlight and mark in the margin, but uh, it's it's all digital and it's all eBooks. Shape this, mm -hmm. when I got the, the eBooks, uh, the devotional books, the special edition with the written message and the audio, we spent 13 months recording every devotional. I said, okay, dad, my name's on the cover of the books, but it's your book. What do you want me to do? Mm -hmm. I was stunned by his response. He said, I want you to give away a million copies a year for seven years. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So I'm still trying to figure out how to do that. And, you know, it's kind of weird. Some people get a little skeptical if you, you say stuff is free. And so I'm talking to dad about, okay, how can we do that to make that happen? But uh, um, you know, Jackie, we, if we're obedient in our life and we're like, dad, you're my boss. I work for you. What do you want me to do today? And I, I had a period where I, my coaching was real slow. And I said, dad, what do you want me to do today? LinkedIn. <laughs> we did that yesterday and the day before and the day before. And I, I discovered, Jackie, that I was one of the first, I think they said 150,000 people who joined LinkedIn in 2003. I've been an active 
networker and connector my whole life. Mm. And God's really blessed LinkedIn and blessed me on LinkedIn. So they can reach out to me on LinkedIn. I do postings and share my material on the LinkedIn. And, and I now see what God was doing when he had me on LinkedIn day after day after day, because now as I go to the marketplace with these new books, he's blessed me to have almost 19,000 first year connections mm -hmm. with the 76, 77 Christian groups that I'm a part of. Jackie, you're probably in a couple of those. In a matter of about two or three minutes, I can send my work out, praise God, to 800,000 people. Wow. So I'm going to be sending stuff out and, you know, just bear with me, pray for me. <laughs> if you get a PDF file and you go, Oh, he said he was going to do ebooks, and this is old fashioned. It's a PDF. Oh, I'm yeah. like, praise God, I got it out. But uh, you know, I'm I'm working as fast as I can to get what he's called me to do out to the world because we need it. Yeah, we need his light. Yes, we need his peace. Yes, and uh, for such a time as this. So, thank you so much for being a part of the CWS podcast today. I have really enjoyed getting to know more of the story behind you, your books, and just everything that you're doing, your message. Um, I know the listeners are appreciative of it. People, you heard what he said. We can start small, start right where you are. Doesn't have to be big. But if nothing else, accept the challenge to move forward, to arise, shine, be that light, and be the empowering spirit for someone else. Thank you again for being a part of CDWS. Until next time, beautiful people, God bless.